from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the San Francisco Giants going up against the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. Okay, all set to go. Here's the veteran outfielder, Mitch Hanniger. The right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the hump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch. But neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Here's Brandon Crawford. Next offering is in for a strike. Brandon Crawford, a kid who grew up a Giants fan. His dad had season tickets at Candlestick Park and then at, what was it initially, Pac Bell Park. And the 2-2. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And Jack Peterson stands in. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Left hand hitter waits. Two, two, yeah. That misses the zone, and the count's full. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left field, Bader should have it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Man at first, and digging in for San Francisco, Austin Slater. The center field, number 13, Austin Slater. The 2-1. And a foul ball. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout, and hit the reset button. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. And down on strikes he goes. Third out. We go to the bottom of the first. Here comes Aaron Judge. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. On the ground to first. A flip to the pitcher covering. One up, one down. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. And the pitch. Fouls went off out of play back to our left. Chris, one interesting note, Logan Webb is considered legally blind because of an astigmatism. Causes blurred vision. Yeah, well, you wouldn't be able to tell as dominant as he's been on the mound, that's for sure. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMayhew. Swing and a miss, now one and two. And the righty deals. On the ground to third. Davis with the throw to first. Out number three. New inning getting started. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Tyro Estrada. The 1-1. One -one. And strike two. Man, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Next offering upstairs. It's a good take. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. Now it's J.D. Davis. The third base, number seven. J.D. No score here in the second.
Next pitch, not close, up high. And down on strikes, two out. Two out, space is empty. Joey Bart getting ready to hit. Why to kick the pitch? Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Back here in New York. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. And the right hander deals. Chris Logan Webb, a Northern California guy, but he grew up a fan of the Oakland A's. He grew up going to both teams' games, Giants and A's, but his dad was an Oakland fan, so he loved the Tim Hudson, Bobby Crosby, Stephen Vogt teams with the Oakland A's. That one ripped. This one's got a chance. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. That hits the dirt, and it's two and two. Well, I can relate being from the Bay Area. I tell you what, warmer games in Oakland than they were in San Francisco, and that can help you become an A's fan a lot faster because it gets awfully chilly in San Fran. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Batting. And next for New York, Kyle Higashioka. Right-hander kicks deals. Off the mark there, and that's ball three. Next offering is fouled back. And here's a 3-2. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. Back in the Bronx, and now the DH, Michael Conforto. Michael Conforto. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Well, we call that keyhole, even though it's right there and looks pretty good. Got him looking. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. Mike Yastrzemski up here. And a 1-1. Top of the third, no score. Got him swinging. So the lineup flips next over. Next Mitch Hanniger, the, right the next Giant to hit. Mitch Hanniger. Kicks and deals. And a count one and two. The wind and the pitch. Swings and misses. Seven in a row by way of the K. Ready to go for the last Leading half of the inning. The and Yankees. stepping in for the Yankees, That's Oswald Peraza. The wind of the pitch. And now it's oh, even up. Out. Righty delivers. Out to short. Crawford handles. Not in time. He's safe. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just... Move oh, over to first, try to keep it close. Peraza gets his lead at first with nobody out. Digging in, Oswaldo Cabrera. Fouled off, he was late.
The pitch. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. No swing. Just held it back there. The punch out there. And one out now. And now Bader up to the plate. Pickoff throw. And he's back in easily. The one two. Bows it back with two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. Now so the batting order turns over. It's Aaron Judge now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Pickoff move to first, and he's back in there. Two and one on Judge. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper feel, puts on. Feel. Runner goes again. Pitch misses. Throw to second and great jump. In the air, left field down the line. A seed into center. That's a base hit. In comes the first run of the game. It's one nothing Yankees. He was all over that one. At 110 miles per hour on the exit velo, that thing was screaming, and that's some serious bat speed to generate contact like that. And no doubt, a higher launch angle sends that thing out. Now ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Out of the fourth and digging in for San Francisco, Brandon Crawford. Brandon Crawford. The 1 1. And that one missing low. That misses the zone. 3 and 1 now. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Okay. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. And now the lefty. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside but just couldn't quite clip the zone. It's a stone cold take. And now Jack Peterson. The one two. And now two and two. Crawford gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Got him! And one gone. Austin Slater stands in. Went down on strikes his first time through. Next pitch misses inside. Three and one. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Next offering popped in the air. Right field. Stanton pulls that one down. And there are two outs. Now it's the second now baseman. Tyro Estrada. He's all for one. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's outside. Comes a 2-2. And that one almost got him. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. To third. 
Rolls across the diamond. And Estrada is out. That ends the frame. Back at Yankee Stadium. Ready to go. Bottom four. And now DJ LeMayhew. LeMayhew. The 2-2. Two -two. Got him looking. Picks up strikeout number seven. Now back. And now it's Giancarlo Stan. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Slings it across. Already two gone here in the home four. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Check swing went around, and the count is one and two. Good eye right there. Swings and misses, struck him out. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's J.D. Davis. The third base That one in for a strike, two and two. And a pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. He's a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. This is Joey Bart. Struck out swinging his first time. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Swings and misses. That's his second strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. The batter will be Michael Conforto. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Swing and a miss. And the count one and two. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Next pitch misses. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Back at Yankee Stadium. And now the catcher comes up to him. Kyle Higashioka. Ball to strike. And that one fouled off. 1-2 now. That one missed. Nope. Lace to right center, base hit. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Now a slow roller to second. Over to Crawford, and he'll eat it and be happy with the out. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out of the front, rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Now it's the DH, Oswaldo Cabrera. The next offering misses. Two and one. They say it went.
On the ground a second, might be two. Flips it for one, double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, top of the sixth inning. And now the first baseman, Mike Yastrzemski. Next offering is down low. To the right side. Tosses to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. The Giants still looking for their first hit in this one. Up the middle. He dives, but he can't make the catch. He doesn't have a play, and the defense comes away with nothing. One down, runner at first. Brandon Crawford now at the plate. And there's a the ball. At the belt and fires. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Low throw and he can't dig it out. Bounce to third. Handled by LeMayhew. In plenty of time to first. And Crawford is set down. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. Man on second, two down. In the dirt. No advance, good job behind the dish. Here's a 2-1. And he takes a strike. Hanniger stands at second with two gone. Next one misses, and it's three and two. So the tying run at second. Strike three. Got him swinging. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Well, we go bottom six. Here's a speed threat. Harrison Bader. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Saying four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit. And he deals. Late with the swing there. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two. When I walked into the store the next day and he looked at me, he said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a <laughs> great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees no, playing in New York. Sends it to first. Judge out on the play. Two down, nobody on. And a count one and two. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Ripped into right field, base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. Good contact guy, good defender. Kicks and fires. Little dribbler up along third, and he grabs it foul. See, D.J. LeMayhew, really good hitter, but as well, defensive versatility. And fittingly enough, he's the first winner of the Gold Glove Award that went to a utility player. He won it in 2022 in the American League.
Bounce to the right. Yastrzemski handles the chance. He handles it himself. That ends the inning. Top of inning number seven. And now the center fielder, Austin Slater. Swings through it for the K. The high heat, too much on that one. Tyro Estrada, the next to hit. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. J.D. Davis, the next giant to hit. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. The tying run at the plate. And that's ball four. Pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. Jonathan Loisica gets the call from the pen. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Now it's the Giants catcher, Joey Bart. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Sean Jelly. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Sean Jelly. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. But you want. Swings through that one. Next offering upstairs. The pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Here comes Glaber Torres. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Next one just misses. And that's ball two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now Kyle Higashioka stepping in now for the Yankees. One for two. And a pitch. That one misses. And a count two and one. To third might be two. One at second. And it's a double play to end the inning. All set for the start of the inning. And here is Michael Conforto. Right-handed reliever. And that one wrapped foul. Righty to the plate. And that one is lifted in the air. And it one-ops the wall. And now the tying run 
is into scoring position. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Conforto at second with nobody out. up foul territory behind the plate and there's one away well that's a frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter right there I mean that pitch was right down the middle I think he got a little too excited came out of his mechanics and instead of driving that ball somewhere he popped it up unfortunate for him the one one swing and a tapper that rolls foul Man at second. Okay. And he hits a ground ball right side. Tosses to first. And they take care of Hanniger for the out. New pitcher for the Yankees, Michael King. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Brandon Crawford will hit next. And things could change quickly here with one swing. Here's a 1 1. And he grounds one to the right side. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Third out, and that ends the frame. for a knock. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now, Oswaldo Cabrera. Peterson makes the grab. Now the left fielder, Harrison Bader. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you either have it or you don't. Hanniger right there to make the grab. And there's two down. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Peraza, the runner at first with two gone. Next pitch inside, and it's two and two. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Clay Holmes. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Here's Jack Peterson. Infield shifted to the pull side. And a pitch. Gonna count one and two. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the swings and misses. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here's the center fielder, Austin Slater. Quarter infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. 
Here comes a pitch. Popped up. Torres makes the grab. Two down. And up next for the Giants, Tyro Estrada. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Swings and misses. And the count is two and two. Got him! And that's the ball game. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.